Hey guys, this is SoulRack333 with another review, and here I have the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition War for Cybertron Voyager Optimus Prime, and I already have the DNA designs DK43 SSG03 upgrade kit installed, and I wasn't planning on getting these gamer edition figures um, watching the reviews I don't think they are the upgrades we were hoping for you can see where the Hasbro still cut a lot of corners um, I was hoping that this figure would be I don't know <clears throat> just better um, and I really don't want to rely on DNA design or upgrade kits to make what Hasbro should already have made perfect. And, uh, but, uh, in this case, uh, the, DNA, the upgrade kit did work. Um, you know, the, the, it's just a, such a half-assed figure, the way Hasbro did it. And somehow, by adding a little piece of, piece of plastic... Somehow it feels like a brick. <laughs> mm -hmm. It looks awesome. Uh, already in the alt mode, the only thing you really see are the gap fillers and the feet. And the fact that he actually now has a you know, back rear fender that covers up the fists. So, no, this actually looks really cool. And here is my old deluxe custom. And uh, so all the blue bits I painted red. I just think that looked better. And have the rear part blue. In terms of scale, yes, the new one definitely beats the older one uh, yeah. they could have scaled this up and give it the modern articulation I think that would have been the best way to go yeah. but, oh well. and then what I liked about the War for Cybertron game was everyone had their, you know, Cybertronian mode, you know. So it was neat to see Optimus getting a Cybertronian mode, since we never saw that in the G1 series. And so I think it's neat to see this. And this is the Rise of the Beast Studio Series Optimus. Also, with his upgrade kit, more on that in the next video. So yeah, I caved and I got Megatron. Screen. And <clears throat> I think before the upgrade kit, I think Starscream had the better upgrade from the original uh, deluxe figure uh, than Optimus. And then Megatron is just garbage. Um, now, with the upgrade kit, I think Optimus definitely wins. Comes with two badass axes. And to transform him, just kind of unpeg.
Now this is annoying. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna wind up gluing most of these pieces. Unpig, unpig. Fold the feet. plastic take these or take this take this now this is the new piece it just pegs in and I guess it kind of rotates around this giving them the fake wheels I'm gonna to touch that up with silver paint I almost glued it I didn't but good thing I didn't rotate rotate here this folds this piece Here, but it's for weapon storage that I'm never going to use, so I don't care. And and there he is. Probably did most of that off camera. Oh well. And yeah, somehow this bulked him up. And it really didn't do much um, the thigh gap fillers are great um, this piece just pegs on yeah that's ugly so they just did that and that makes it look better I'm gonna glue that in there um, Tiny little gap fillers here. I think that's wedged in there. I probably don't need to glue it. And then this right here added an extra step. Transform. And then these, I'm going to glue them in. Uh, they fit in there pretty good, but they also pop out very easily. So they're great for the alt mode. And I guess they add a little bit of detail in the robot mode. So it just pegs in there. Uh, I guess it gives them a heel spur. So it just kind of collapses like that. Wedging them in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna glue them in there. It's kind of a pain though. There it is. So gave him this attachment for his gun. 
this pegs in there this is the gun that goes into his forearm i really don't care for that gimmick it works in the game but in toy mode i mean what happened is this arm is very loose i put a little tissue paper in there to wedge it i could glue it but i didn't want to glue it yeah that's a little bit better and he has his big ass axes Definitely larger than the original one. Has the same gimmick of splitting open. Uh, but this also rotates downward, but it pops off very easy. Then pegs, so it gives it a more symmetrical look, especially when you rotate it. This just looks ugly. I like how it looks, but then it just, just makes it look weird. I mean, I would rather pose it like that. Here, the inside looks ugly, so, but I don't know how else you can clean that up. Yeah, see? And here he is with the deluxe version. I think there should have been a happy medium between the two. Definitely the size works for him. But this one, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I never really liked, liked the design for the game too much. They stylized them way too much. I don't understand. Why would you design thighs like that? That is just ugly. You know? And like what purpose does that serve whatever but the upgrade set definitely improves this one by a lot the old classics is still a much bigger figure Two grams, five grams with his weapons. So, and then here's with Megatron. I mean, this figure is garbage. I think the original one. All they had to do was scale up the original one, and this would have been really cool. Star screen. Right there. Yeah, I saw Sideswipes Gamer Edition. I'm not buying them. It looks ugly. I never saw Bun Bumblebee. I got the Cliff Jumper, but I never saw Bumblebee. Oh well. But I did want, even though I'm not terribly impressed with the figure the upgrade set i think does improve it i don't think it's worth the 50 dollars, including shipping um i just had some extra cash and so i thought I'd, I'd get it uh same reason i bought this um that upgrade kit um so if you passed on this gamer edition prime i don't think you're missing anything um if you do have it and you feel it's kind of lackluster, the upgrade kit is really good. Then it just comes down to is it worth the price? Um, I'm happy I have it because it does improve this figure. The, the subtle changes, the subtle additions 
it does improve the figure by a lot it's so weird is it fifty dollars worth uh, no because then now this figure is close to a hundred dollars this figure is not worth a hundred dollars so it just comes down to is it worth it for me I'm okay with it you know um, I do like the figure and so I'm okay with the figure hey it's the ghost ghosty what are you doing I think ghosty wants some snacks so I guess I better go anyway there it is prime with the DNA upgrade kit thanks for watching